Evolving your piece from line art or a sketch into a full render involves just a little bit of work and some knowledge on values. But aside from that, it's pretty simple. Because we work in Photoshop, Clip Studio, Krita, Procreate, all these different programs that have layers, we are going to utilize those layers to make things uh, easy, to mitigate a little bit of fear. Some people have some anxiety when messing with these things, so don't worry, your, your, your beautiful line art and sketches and drawings will still be safe, but we're going to just kind of move them past that point. And this can be a big challenge for a lot of people. And I can understand how that could be like a weird mental shift for some people. A lot of my pieces tend to start from the kind of rough stage, but I, I never really mess with lines that much, specifically because I plan on them from the beginning to be a full render piece, much like from this to this. Now, there's still lines as you can see, but I wanted them to eventually be this. I want, <laughs> you know, I wanted it to be a full piece with very little line art. Now some artists prefer to do a sketch, line art, then fill, lasso, render, that kind of stuff. And you would get your lasso tool up here where you're able to draw a shape and then simply just fill in parts of that shape to fill the void. Now the way they would do that with this is they would lasso around the initial shape following the line art. And then often this could be with a soft brush or they can put down what's called flats. Now flats work like a protective layer. So they would fill in the entire layer completely, 100% opaque. So they don't need to use the selection anymore, but they'll have this, uh, for example, face, they'll, they'll have a flat for it. And so you can make a new layer and create clipping mask above the flat. And then you're pretty much able to do whatever you really want with the flat. You don't have to worry about lassoing it every time. And you could just render that way. And that's how a lot of professionals like to go about doing this. Now, another way, is what I like to call the no fear way. In the flats and render, you typically go below the line art, so you're, you're able to see what you're doing um, and not mess with the line art. Well, this one, we're gonna go above it. We're gonna make a layer above the line art, and it involves mostly just color picking. And you can still use a lasso tool and all that stuff for this one, but essentially it's just, you take the values and you move them around and you grab the black and you push it gently into the, the white area or the gray area, and then you just color pick from there and you're able to just sort of sketch your own way. I'm just using a basic ground brush right now just for, <laughs> to show, for example, here. And you just change the size of your brush. And when I hold down Alt, uh, it brings up the eyedropper tool. And so with that, you color pick the values you want. So I've, I'll, I'll pick the, the gray, or I'll pick the black, or I'll pick this gray, and I'll paint with that gray. And it's just this little dance back and forth. You just color pick the ones you want and you just move along. And this way is honestly faster in my opinion. Uh, and again, you're not messing with the line art. Line art's still there if you, in case you need it. But then slowly you're able to sort of evolve it. My skin tutorial works very well with this style of rendering, by the way. But by combining the lasso tool, the flat layers, and the overall render, you can make some crazy, crazy effects. You'll, you'll come to not need a line layer anymore. A lot of people just really want to evolve past that point. The fastest way though, to go from line art to full render, um, is to actually just kind of start with that mindset that you're going to put it in full render eventually. And I know that sounds kind of like redundant, like I wouldn't be converting it to, the, to full render from line art if I didn't have line art to begin with. And I agree, you could alternatively start like this. So you'll notice there's no line art, there's just form. There's just form and basic feature. And with this, I just draw with a basic brush and I color pick. And we start like this. So when you start without a line art layer, you're still able to make adjustments to things on the fly. And I'm gonna say something mildly controversial at this point. Uh, and some of you might have already kind of gathered, um, but I don't typically draw with line art anymore. I found, and this is gonna sound kind of crazy, uh, I found it's a little bit of a waste of my time because I eventually I prefer to make pieces like this. This is just pure like pushing values around. And that's honestly just all it is. But why would I spend time, why would I spend hours and hours in during the day, during my work hours, drawing line art when I'm eventually gonna bring it to full render anyway? And I know a lot of people are like, well, I've, I've never drawn, I've never you know sketched without line art. Well, maybe, 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 and this is just a quick little maybe, maybe you should try. You will eventually move so fast towards a full render that uh, apparently, and I've been told this by industry professionals and colleagues, uh, that I am just ferociously competent. 
<laughs> a lot of artists just never tried. They never tried moving past the sketch phase. Now I know a lot of traditional artists will sketch on the canvas or on the page before actually like putting down paint, for example. Uh, a lot of them just go straight in and they're like, ah, you know, if there's an issue, I'll just paint over it. And that's the mindset you gotta kinda take when dealing with values. You can change anything you want, you can add, crazy structures you can add crazy designs and all you're doing is messing with the values and that's it like look i just cut a giant gash in this breastplate i want these pieces to end up being full render pieces and i'm able to just add as much detail as i want and the way you can move quickly with this is you you just have in your mind you can do whatever you want with no fear to the piece no fear whatsoever when i'm done with this it might look completely different. So for example, when I just keep on rendering this thing, it looks like this. So you'll you'll see a lot of things changed, but I'm able to do this in relative ease, I think. It only takes a couple of hours and you'll end up with something that you're really proud of. And it'll change. It will morph over time. Because like this one, I actually had to go back and forth with the client and be like, hey, you know, and thoughts, ideas, you know, and then they'll be back and forth with their own, you know, ideas and what they want then it just changes over time from this to this. You don't need to worry too much about sketching. You don't need to worry too much about making things look so precise and pristine. Because I know a lot of you, I used to do this too, I know a lot of you just go over the same line over and over in the line work trying to get it right. You know, line control Z, line control Z, line control Z, until you get the perfect line. And like that is just so much time you're spending on the line work and it's great it is great you are spending time making it a precise beautiful sketch and that's wonderful don't feel bad about that don't feel like you're wasting your time and hopefully you don't feel like i'm attacking you because it does look great i love people with cruel line art it's amazing it's beautiful it's a wonderful drawing but if you do want to move from going from line art to full render you could and the reason I'm spending so much time on this is because a lot of people are very like apprehensive about this. I'm just trying to preach my <laughs> my, my word into the cosmos of, of the art community uh, saying that you don't need, you don't need to start with line art. You don't. And it's it'll be, it could be good for you. It could be fun. It could be great. It could be fantastic. You'll notice, in fact, a lot of my tutorials don't do line art. And that's for a reason. And that baffles some people. <laughs> Where's the sketch? You know, it, it, it's just it's just rendering. It's just from the get. You know, from the from the beginning. You start with a, a shape. You start with a silhouette. You start putting in stuff. You start just blending. And honestly, you can blend a piece from zero to 100 percent to finished, and with very little need for anything else. You know, honestly, for for this piece, I did use the lasso tool for like precise shapes on like the breastplate or the the bit of the gauntlet here. But that's honestly about it. Everything else, like the the torso area, you know, the the folds and the cloth and leather and stuff like that, the reflections and things. And this was a quick piece. This was not a a a, a long, drawn out, fully, incredibly rendered piece. It's more of a concept. That's all hand blended. That's just you know, get your brush and hold down Alt uh, and just pick a color and blend with it. But that's painting. You know, again, this is just one of the other areas. Uh, I don't have as much expertise with the lasso and flats as a lot of other professional artists do. However, I have used them before and it's a very, very, very clean look. I have, I've done it, all right? This one started as a sketch as well. Uh, this was, If you wanna see this process of how I went and made this, uh, this this piece right here, which I'm very proud of, uh, it's a cover art for Severed Steel. It's a wonderful, fun uh, indie game. This process is on my tutorial on cover art. Uh, I, I'll leave a little card up in the top right area or wherever, uh, if you wanna go check that out, or even in the description down below. Uh, but that process does go from sketch, you know, lassos and flats and renders and stuff to this finished product. And this is a piece I did for Bungie uh, and they have an in-game event and they, they wanted me to paint the winners. But I, I used, you'll notice how clean everything, like let me, let me zoom on this a bit. You'll notice how clean everything looks, like the, the edges are very clean, everything looks very nice, very, very presentable, very pristine. Uh, and that's because I did use the, uh, the the lasso and the flats and all that stuff, uh, but hopefully 
this can be a, a fun demonstration, if you will, um, on how to move pieces from uh, sketch and line art over to full painting. So hopefully that does help uh, in some fun way. Now, so thank you so much to my amazing patrons and Twitch subs who make these tutorials and things possible. I'll see you in the next video and you have yourself a wonderful day.